Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In this video you will learn how to filter through data in React.js. In the last video we did successfully hook this select currency drop-down onto the data from the object that we've saved locally and imported into the state and we need to figure out or we need to tweak one more thing we don't want to see australian dollar on this list we want to always convert australian dollars into a currency selected in this drop down if we would keep australian dollar here it would be one to one and there is no point to do any calculations okay so we will remove australian dollars from the drop down and only keep all the other ones and then we will do the calculation of the currencies themselves let's go back to vs code and inside of the select currency constant we will create a new constant we will call it filtered currencies and this will be the new collection that we want to map over and we'll simply filter out the AUD currency Okay, so we'll take individual currency and then if the currency code doesn't equal to AUD, we will keep it in, which means that we are taking out of the AUD currency from the array. Okay, so the new filtered currencies is what we want to loop over and we'll simply need to replace the currencies inside of the return with the filtered currencies. Okay, if we save it now, view it in the browser, we'll see that the selected currency is United States dollars and we don't see the Australian dollars in the options. Now let's try to change the flag, the label and the input the values, the dollar sign and the USD to whatever's relevant to the selected currency in the drop down. Okay, so if we're selecting Canadian dollars, we should have everything updated to Canadian and to do that we will update the on select currency function and inside of the on select currency we firstly need to create the currency that we want to set to the currency b and this will be we will filter again through the currencies in the state and return if the currency code equals code okay so whatever we just passing whatever the user just selected let's say they selected USD then we want to only keep that as the currency and then we can simply use this set state currency B is currency zero because this is an array with one item in it we kicked all the other items out of it so we can simply set it to currency B now we can save it view it in the browser go to the react and see what the state is the default value is United States USD and if I change it we're getting an error currencies is not defined okay I think I know what it is we are looping or we're filtering through currencies but we didn't define where the currencies are coming from so again let's destructure it let's destructure it from the state equals this state now we should be able to loop over it and again we're selecting different value and we're getting one more error cannot read property state of undefined okay so the problem is this this state because we didn't bind the on select currency to the app component the browser doesn't know what is the context of this so let's bind it in the constructor this on select currency equals this on select currency dot bind this and that should finally update the state the right currency to a currency b in the state okay now we're selecting different currencies and we see the currency b updating in the state now i will challenge you i want to i want you to pause the video and update the render method so that when we updating the currency in the state everything changes to the right text and also the icon okay so try to figure that out 
how to turn all these into a dynamic text based on the data and then we will continue with my solution. Okay, I hope you've really challenged yourself and here is my solution. I did firstly destructure it again from the state. We're taking the currency A, currency B and both values, currency A val and currency B val. We will use this data to render it instead of the static text. And then we can simply scroll down and try to replace all the strings. We'll start with the class. We render current flag plus the currency A code. We can copy and paste it over the currency B code as well. So this should change the flag for us because we're changing different classes. The Australian dollar will become currency A name. The United States dollars will become currency B name. AUD will become currency A code. The same thing for the USD, just changing it to currency B. And the same thing will apply for the, for the dollar sign, currency B sign. And we can copy and paste it to the currency A. Okay, so this should be all the hard-coded strings replaced with dynamic values. And the last remaining bit would be the exchange rate at the bottom. Okay, so here we'll change it again into longer string where we're changing into dynamic values. Curly braces, back ticks, and then using the variables or the constants and rendering the right content. So hopefully you've tried this. Hopefully if you worked it out, I would think that by now, after going through this and the other two previous courses or demos, you should be very familiar how with how to render different data in the render method. Now in the browser, we have a nicely updating UI based on the selection from the dropdown. And in the next video, we will do the calculation of the conversion. This is it for this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Until next time, happy coding.